guys, it's Angel. Today I am back in the kitchen and I have a very special guest with me, my grandma. Hi, hello. <laughs> so she's super happy to be here today and I had asked her what she wanted to cook for us. And she said she wanted to cook vegetables because she's always trying to get me and my grandfather to eat more vegetables. So today she's going to be making so like she said, we are going to be making an eggplant dish topped with green onions and cilantro. It's simple yet delicious and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. For this recipe, we'll be using some fresh eggplant that we got from the farmer's market, green onions, and some cilantro for garnish. And before we get started, I'm just going to help my grandma out a bit by filling a small pot with some water and letting that heat up to a boil. Now it's my grandma's turn to cook while I get behind the camera. First you'll want to wash the eggplant, then trim the stems off the very top and discard. Next, cut the eggplant into roughly two to three inches, bite-sized pieces, and once the water has come to a boil, you can go ahead and add your eggplant pieces to the pot. And so everything cooks faster, it's best to cover with a lid. Now, if you're wondering how long the eggplant needs to boil for, Grandma says it should be for around 10 minutes. <laughs> and while the eggplant is cooking, let's go back to the cutting board and chop some green onions. We don't need a ton, just enough for garnishing to taste. After 10 minutes, let's check to see if the eggplant is done cooking. Grandma says you'll know if it's done when it's soft to squeeze with chopsticks and when the skin, which is usually shiny, starts to become dull. After it's done, drain in a colander and remove any excess water by pressing gently with chopsticks or a spoon before transferring to your serving dish. Finally, add your green onions on top, drizzle with a bit of olive oil, and to make it extra tasty, some of my grandma's favorite vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. You use this like you would regular oyster sauce over veggies. And last but not least, we're going to top it off with some fresh cilantro. And that is how my grandma makes eggplant. It was super easy and now we get to do the taste test, which is my favorite part. So, Wow, this looks really good. Mmm. So I've made this a few times and for some reason it's just never as good as grandma makes it. So, thank you grandma for coming and showing us how to make eggplant. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with Grandma as our special guest. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Anyways, take care guys. I know it's been a while. I hope you guys have been doing well and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.